Greetings class, this is Dr. York Hammonds. I'm still in section 2.3, Measures of Central Tendency. This video will cover finding the weighted mean of a data set and uh, the mean for a frequency distribution table. Our first one, weighted mean, says that a weighted mean is the mean of a data set whose entries have varying weights. The weighted mean is given by X bar, that's the symbol for mean, in this case it's a weighted mean, that's equal to the sum of X, where X is the entries, times W, where W is the weight for that entry. That sum is divided by the sum of the weights. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to see example 7. And it says, uh, it talks about taking a class where your grade is determined from five sources, the test mean, the midterm, the final exam, the computer lab, and homework. These are your scores in each of those five, from each of those five sources. And this is the weight of each source. For example, your test is worth 50% or 0.5 of your grade. To find the sum of the score X times the weight W, you would multiply each of those, add and get 88.6. And then that would be divided by the sum of the weights, which in this case is one. So you get 88.6. It says your weighted mean is 88.6. So you did not get an A because an A you're required to make a 90 or better. Normally, I would try to do these examples in StatCrunch. However, when I click on this icon, the UTRIAT will not allow me to open it in StatCrunch. So instead, I have decided to look at an example from the study plan. So here's one from the study plan, 2.3.41. The scores and their percent of the final grade for a statistic student are given. What is the student's weighted mean score? So you have homework, two quizzes, a project, and a final exam. These are your scores, which will be the X values. The percent of the final grade is the value for W for each uh, source. I'm going to go to the double boxes, the icon. I'm going to click that so that I can open the data in StatCrunch. So VAR1 are the sources. If you'd like to fix that so it looks more like the home uh, example. And then score is your X value. These are what you made. Uh, this is your homework score, your two quiz scores, your project, and your final exam. And for percent of final grade, that will be our W, our weight. These are in percents, 15%, 5%, 5%. Your project was worth 50%, half of your overall grade. Now, if we wanted to do this like the text, we could use the formula to find the weighted mean. So I'm going to pull up my stat crunch, and I'm going to try to scoot that a little bit over so you can see the formula. I have, In order to create a formula, I go to data, compute, and expression. And I have to build that expression. Now, the first thing I have to do for the numerator is take the sum. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to sum. And double click. Now, the first thing I do is I take the sum of X, which is our scores, times the W, the weight, that's the percent of final grade. Then I'm going to arrow out of that parenthesis, and that is my numerator. I'm going to divide by the sum of the weights, which is those percent of final grades. That's my weights. And then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to put it in a column label, W-E-I-G-H-T-E-D, weighted mean. So I'm going to compute. And I'm going to hide the table. And so your weighted mean is 92.85 according to the calculations that you would have done by hand. Now, there's a quicker way or more efficient way to do this in StatCrunch. You see that we have a table of data, and the scores are in, from different sources. 
So if I want to find a mean, I'm going to have to go to where my summary stats are to find a mean, even though it's weighted. So I'm still going to go to stats, and I'm going to go to summary stats, much like we did when we were finding uh, mean, median, and mode in a previous uh, video. But this time, my summary stats are not in columns. They are what we call grouped or binned data because my data is grouped by source and binned according to uh, how much weight each score has. So I'm going to click on grouped binned data. Now my bins are my score. Those are my values of X. And my counts are in my weights. That's the percent of the final grade. And I'm going, all I need is the mean. But in this case, because it's in grouped binned data, that mean will be a weighted mean. And I'm going to go ahead and store it in the out, uh, store that output in my data table. So when I click compute, there's, I'm going to, there's explaining what I did. And I'm going to close that and we can look. So it says the column score X, we have a mean of 92.85. So the weighted mean we've had, we found using the summary uh, statistics is the same as the one that you ca would calculate with the formula. So one more time, I'm going to show you that just to make sure that you are aware of the, it's a pretty efficient method. We go stat, summary stats, and group bend data. The bins are my score, the counts are my weight, and all I want is the mean, which again is a weighted mean. If you don't want to store it in the data table, you can just click Compute, and it will put it in your uh, box that when we close that, we'll say, but it's still 92.8, which is the same as the weighted mean we got from uh, the, calcul the computations we did with the ex uh, expression. Now, if we go back to your book on page 72, they have the mean of a frequency distribution for a sample. Now that mean, it's still designated by X bar. We take the sum of the X, which in this case is the midpoint for each of the classes times the frequency for that class, then we take that sum and divide it by n, where n is the sum of the frequencies. So in the example, they have only the class midpoint and the frequency. They multiply those two, add them up, and divide by the sum of the frequencies, which is also n for your set. Now, once again, it's difficult to open these examples from the text, text, so I'm going to open a previously used data set from the frequency distribution table uh, we created with the GPSs. So I'm going to go back to StatCrunch, and I'm actually going to open a new blank table. So I'm going to click on StatCrunch and click on New Data Table. Now, I have to, since I'm in a blank table, I'm going to go to StatCrunch and I am going to go to a session, a previous session, and upload it. Now, it asked me to choose a file, so I'm going to choose File. And it went to my download file because when I downloaded those sessions, they stayed in my downloads. So remember we did the GPS prices. I'm going to double click on that and upload. And in a few seconds, you see the uh, frequency table, the expanded one with the lower limit, upper limit, the frequency, and the midpoint. So these are the two columns I'm going to be using when I calculate uh, the actual uh, mean for this frequency distribution table. So I'm going to go 
If you want to do this, you can go to data. You can actually compute an expression. We're going to have to build it. Now, we need to use sum because we're going to sum the product of the frequency times the midpoint. So double click sum. And I'm going to take the, uh, they used midpoint as x. So I'm going to do midpoint first times frequency. Then I'm going to arrow out of that. And I know that that's going to be divided by the sum. So I'm going to double click sum of the frequencies. So I'm going to click OK. And this will be our mean of frequency distribution. So there will be another column. I'm assuming it will put it in var 13, but let's see. And it did. It added a new column where var 13 was, and it says the mean is 161.83. So we can also do this in a little more efficient method so that you don't have, you have to remember the steps from StatCrunch, but you don't have to remember that um, the actual formula for that weighted mean. So much like we did for the prior problem, we're going to go to Stat. We're going to go to summary stats, and again, this is grouped or binned data. Now, the bins are our midpoints. Those are our classes, class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, and so on, class 7. So the bins are our midpoints, and the counts are in the frequency. So this is how many are in each midpoint. Now again, all I want to calculate is the mean, but this mean is going to be the mean of the frequency distribution. And I'm not going to put it in the data table, I'm just going to let it pop up in a window. So you can see that the, it says the using the counts and the frequency, the mean for this frequency distribution is 161.8. 3.3, and realize that that's a GPS gas price, $161.83. And it's the same as the one that we calculated using the formula from the text. I hope that this helps explain how to use StatCrunch to find these values in a more efficient method. Thank you for your time.